Hey guys, in this video I'm going to install 10 solar panels, 395 watts each panel, with a stack rack batteries, 5 kilowatt hours capacity, with a lux power inverter, and this is going to be partial home backup system. We have a pretty tight space where all equipment are going to be installed, and in my area I have to do space between battery and the window 3 feet at least, so I'm going to install battery cabinet first and then install rest of the equipment. Batteries and cabinet for this project I'm using from a stack rack. This is outdoor rated cabinet and uh, it could be ground mount or wall mount and uh, it can hold up to two batteries which is uh, 10 kilowatt hours. By default this cabinet going with two fans and thermostat to cool down batteries if needed. And optional you can request heater to heat the batteries uh, if you live in a colder climate. And right here is gonna be a critical load panel backed up by batteries and solar system. I'm installing panel from Square D for six circuits. In a package with inverter, we are getting concrete anchor bolts, which is 3 inch long and it's definitely enough to hold inverter weight. In case of this installation, we have wood framing house with stucco and we are getting this kind of lug bolts, which is 2 inch long. In a general, stucco about 1 inch depth and then we have depth of um, mounting hardware, so embedment into wood is gonna be about half inch which is definitely not enough, so we have to get our own lug bolts to hang inverter. Next step is to mount wireway, and uh, I found three differences between Solarc and uh, Lux Power wireways. First is the size, right here I'm using 10 by 10 wireway, which is smaller and in my opinion it looks nicer. And because of the conduit location, we can use 10 by 10. With the solar arc, we have to use 12 by 12. Second is a hole for conduits. Uh, with the lux power, we have two inch. With the solar arc, we have inch and a half. So in theory, we can install less um, uh, nipples for lux power because we have larger conduits. And the third item I realized after installation, we can use chase nipples and uh, install wireway just below the inverter, because behind the inverter we have this niche where a lot of uh, space for cooling fans to suck air and cool down inverter. To connect main panel and the critical load panel, I'm going to use one inch EMT conduit. To connect battery cabinet and wireway together, I'm going to use liquid tight inch and a quarter conduit. Next step here is to run wires from a roof from solar panels into a wireway and uh, connect to an inverter. With the cabinet we can remove four bolts and uh, remove top cover to have access to the battery and um, for easier connection. Homeowner did identify six circuit breakers that he wants uh, to back up by battery and solar in case of power outage. So I'm moving uh, th those breakers from main panel to sub panel. And uh, right here all wiring is finished. We can close all covers and we're ready for final inspection. Installation time for this project, it took three days, one day to install solar panels on the roof and uh, two days to hang all equipment and run wires between uh, all components. One additional nice feature with the Lux Power that on the side we have a rapid shutdown button and we have transmitter built in into inverter, so we don't have to install any additional enclosure with transmitter and coils because all of this built in into inverter. This is speeding up installation time and of course less parts, so it's cheaper installation. Alright guys, that's all about the system. In general, I like how small and compact system. I hope you will find something useful in this video. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.